Hey guys, welcome back to Batty in a Book. My name is Gabby and today we have a book haul. Now, this particular book haul, I have some brand new books, but I would say majority of these books I've actually bought either secondhand from the dollar store or um, from the bargain section at Books A Million. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to first knock out the books that are brand new um, so that we can get those out of the way. So the first book that I picked up is called All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This is the original cover of All Your Perfects. They have since changed it. So I am glad that I was able to pick up the original cover. I actually prefer this one a lot more than the new cover that she has out. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to get this one. I think this one is part of the Hopeless series. From what I've been able to gather on YouTube and just all the books that I've, or all the videos that I've seen on Miss Colleen Hoover's books, I think this one is like the fourth book, maybe, potentially. I'm not too sure, um, but I do have this one. She is an author that I do eventually want to collect all of her books from. The next book that I picked up I got from Target and this one is called The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. I've heard nothing but really great things about this book. This one is an adult romance book and um, essentially this book takes place on a road trip between the main character and I believe her ex, I believe. Um, so I thought that that was a really interesting premise. This author is also the author that wrote, I believe it's called The No Show, which is more of like a modern day contemporary like feminist romance I believe or a feminist feminist book in general so I thought of the two this one would be a great one to start with and then if I really love this one I'll go ahead and pick up the next one the next book that I actually picked up I actually got this brand new I guess you could say it's brand new but it's still for a bargain price because I got this from the dollar store and this one is called The Other Sister by Sarah Zettel now this one is giving at least the cover is really giving Lisa Jewell vibes which is the only reason why I really picked up this book it says two sisters one murder plan it was a dollar 25 so I was like like, fuck it why not <laughs> okay so this one is called just haven't met you yet by sophie cousins now this one is a romance book it is so funny because this one actually follows a girl by the name of laura who is on a business trip she ends up like running into somebody and at the airport which is extremely embarrassing and then when she finally gets to her hotel room she ends up finding out that she completely grabbed the wrong suitcase so and I believe the suitcase just so happens to be the guy that she had the embarrassing encounter with so that that I thought that that would be a very interesting premise I don't have any romance book that actually have that sort of theme or plot twist in there so I thought that that would be an interesting pickup and then the last book that I picked up this one was actually from Barnes and Noble and this was in their bargain section this one is called The Perfect Day by Evelyn Lozada and it also is with Holly Lorenx and and I just know that this one is a romance. It was in the bargain section, so I think it was only like $5 or something like that. Um, but I see that it's also potentially a sports romance as well, just based on the cover. Cover is super cute. It's got that traditional, at least the modern, traditional cartoon cover that we see all the time. So I thought I would go ahead and pick that one up. Next book that I picked up is the only... The only nonfiction book that I have in this haul and it is Mariah Carey's memoir. I had to pick this one up. I got Will in another haul so I thought I would go ahead and pick hers up as well. I'm not super big into memoirs but Mariah Carey's story I'm extremely intrigued by so I thought I would go ahead and pick her up. I love her music but you know this one was a thrift find. It's still in mint condition and look at that cover. Uh, I love that so the next book that I picked up, I actually got this one. I believe I thrifted this one. Um, this one is A Mother's Lie by Sarah Zettel. So we, I got two Sarah Zettel books in this haul. And this one is another thriller vibe, another Ju uh, Lisa Jewell vibe that I'm getting from this book. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. The thriller genre is kind of past spooky season has kind of passed. I'm a little late to the game, but maybe I don't know. I'll pick that up here in the near future I have no idea. The next books that I picked up is part of a series and it is one that was previously talked about on booktube it's not really talked about that much anymore but it is the crazy rich asian series and I got all three of them I thrifted them all so they are a little bit beat up but I'm absolutely okay with that I didn't want to pay full price for these because I wasn't sure if I was gonna vibe well with these or not um, but it comes with crazy rich asians 
China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems. Um, now this books, I think these books also have been turned into either a movie or like a couple movies. So maybe I'll do a video where I do read each book and then watch the movies. I feel like that would be kind of fun. The next two books that I picked up are also thrillers as well. I've been on a thriller kick as far as just buying books and it's called, the first one is called The Silent Wife by Carrie Fisher and the second one is called The Girl in Ice by Robert Brinza. Now both of these two, this one follows I believe a detective so there's like a mystery vibe going on with this one and then this one is giving like the silent patient vibes so it's the, really the only reason why I picked this one up. Um, I don't know anything about these two books. I also have never heard of either one of these two authors so I'm really excited to have some new authors on my bookshelf um, to go with my collection and to have something different to read other than what everyone else is reading. The next thrifted find that I was able to get is called The Lake House by Kate Morton. It starts in 1933 with this couple who ends up having a son and one night they discover that their newborn son has gone missing or I'm sorry, their 11 month old son has gone missing. Then fast forward 70 years into the future, we are now in London. We are following the boy's sister. So it's one of the daughters of the couple that lost their 11 month old son. And she gets a, a message from or randomly gets a letter from a detective that is in the area that is asking questions about the mysterious disappearance of her brother. And it seems very mysterious. It seems very intriguing. Just rereading the synopsis because it, I'm not gonna lie, it has been a little minute since I picked up the synopsis of this book. Rereading the synopsis makes me wanna pick it up now. Um, but this one is a little bit of a thicky. I got this from a thrift store. I actually ended up getting this from, from um, Goodwill in their Amazon paperback section. So I'm really excited to pick that one up eventually. The next couple of books I picked up I actually ended up getting from Books A Million and I have this author, I have thrifted this author before from a Goodwill so I decided to go ahead and pick up a few more of her books to add to that collection. I ended up picking up All Summer Long and Same Beach Next Year by Dorothy Benton Frank. Um, I don't know what these two are about. These are giving me beach vibes so I'm probably going to end up saving these for like a summer read and reading them closer to the summertime. I thought that these would be a good addition to my Dorothy Benton Frank collection that I have. The one thing that's very interesting about these two books, I don't know if the author is from Charleston, but both of these two books take place in Charleston, South Carolina. One thing that I do love about um, authors that do this, a lot of authors that I have found will write up stories and have those settings be in places that they're actually from. The next book that I picked up from Books A Million again is called Emergency Contract by Mary H.K. Choi. I don't know a whole lot about this one. I know that this is a YA book. Um, I think there might be some romance involved in this. A lot of the book actually has like text conversations in um, which I thought was very interesting and I really loved the cover. This was merely just a cover buy for me so I'm really excited about that. Now the next couple of books that I picked up are from an author that I have been collecting all of her books as much as possible. All of these books too are the original covers that I remember from back when I was younger and I was first getting introduced to this particular author and that is Miss Kristen Hanna. So I picked up four thrifted books by her. I got actually all of these from Second Sale and they were all still in really good condition which I was really really happy with because these are novels that I plan on keeping for the rest of my life if I possibly can. So I ended up picking up Angel Falls, picked up Magic Hour, we have Home Again, and then lastly we have On Mystic Lake which this was one of the books that I read when I was in high school so I'm really excited to pick this one up again. I don't know why but for some reason when I was younger I thought that this book was thicker than what it was. This book is giving second chance romance. Um, the main character goes by the name of Annie and she just finds out that her husband has fallen in love with a younger woman so she relocates to her hometown where she meets again a love interest from the past so it's giving that second chance romance. I'm really excited to read this one um, and I remember really enjoying it the first time so I'm hoping that I will go ahead and enjoy it again. 
The next couple of books that I picked up are from the exact same author. Um, I ended up picking these up on three different occasions. I didn't all pick them up at the same time. And these are all books by Mr. Wally Lamb. Now, the only one that I even recognize as to being on Book Talk or Booktube is She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. I don't know what this one is about, but this was a cover buy for me and the book is still in mint condition. So I just had to go ahead and pick it up. The next book that I picked up is called I Know This Much Is True. True. I'm not 100% sure what this one is about either, but I saw this in relatively good condition at my local Goodwill, so I thought I would go ahead and pick it up. This next book is a thickie. I have no idea what made me want to pick up this book. I know that this book has a lot of tragedy in it, um, and that's pretty much the only thing that I really like truly know about this book, um, other than the fact that it is a fucking thick ass book. Like, and not to mention, it's not like the words are very forgiving either. Like, what? <laughs> um, but I figured that I would go ahead and pick up this one to have a few different options to start with Wally Lamb to see if that's an author that will work for me. The next two books that I picked up were also pickups from Books A Million, and these are more of on the thriller side. So this one is called I'll Never Tell, and then this one is called Lies You Never Told Me. Both of these two were cover buys, so um, I'm not sure 100% what these are about with thrillers. I also don't really like to read too much into the synopsis as well, just because... I like to go into thrillers as blindly as possible and so um, I really love the covers of these two. They were really intriguing so I decided to go ahead and take the risk and go for them. These were also in the bargain section so this one was only seven dollars and this one was only five so I'm not losing out on too much by taking the risk and picking those up. Now the last set of books I've got quite a fucking few here and I I'm really fucking excited about these. This author, I remember reading a few of her books when I was in middle school, I believe, maybe high school a little bit. I know for a fact I've had at least three of these books from what I can remember just based on the covers. Um, but I did thrift quite a few of these. I got a bulk of them from Facebook Marketplace. As you guys know, if you watch any of my previous videos, I do a lot of author bundles on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. I'm able to find a lot of books. I have more luck on Facebook Marketplace to be able to find author bundles, um, to be able to buy as many books from one author as possible, especially if they've been writing for a while. Now, authors like Colleen Hoover, Taylor Jenkins Reid, those you may not find um, on eBay or on um, Facebook Facebook marketplace but this particular author I was able to easily find and that is Miss Sarah Dessen. I think I probably have like 10 plus books here from her and I remember reading all of these not all of these but I remember reading these when I was in high school there is one this particular one I remember reading and loving and it's called the truth about forever I remember reading this one I remember loving this one so I thought I would go ahead and pick this one up again this one came in a bundle with one of these and this is actually the original cover for it and then we have Just Listen. This is one of the newer updated covers. These books are kind of thick, but it is a YA. I know that all of these are romance, coming of age stories. Um, with Sarah Dessen, you can't really go wrong because like I said, they're all either coming of age or romance or a combination of the two. This one was another one that I had when I was a little bit younger, which is called What Happened to Goodbye. I don't remember this book. So if I did read it, I don't remember it, but I thought I would go ahead and pick that one up again. And then we have Along for the Ride. This one is also in one of the newer published editions. And then we, I have two new ones that I hadn't heard of before um, trying to collect as many of her books as possible. And that is The Rest of the Story and Saint Anything. I've heard really, really good things about this one. This one I haven't heard too much about, but um, again, it's Sarah Dessen, so I can't even really complain about that. And then the last... Five, which came in a bundle. I have Once and For All, Dreamland, Lock and Key, This Lullaby, and Someone Like You. All of these are the original covers. So these were all of her original covers before she ended up changing them to those newer ones that we have. But I was really excited to be able to find all of these and also for a really good price because I think I paid for all of these. I probably paid like $10 or $12 for. And then the rest of those I ended up picking up from various places like Second Sale, My Local Goodwill. So you know those are only going to be like $3 or $4 at max. 
So yeah, those are all of the books that I picked up this go around. I'm really excited to add these books to my collection. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.